Hello everyone, welcome to this problem where we are going to dive into to the array. So in this problem, we receive as input an array, I mean like a to the array, which is an array of array. And then we are supposed to find out how many, what is the biggest how glass in the array. And, uh, and how glass has been defined as a subset of an array respecting this pattern. So if you receive something like this, these are the how glasses of the array. So it's actually a subset consisting of seven elements following this pattern. So the goal here is to find out what is the subset with the, sum, the biggest value, the maximum sum. So actually, the problem is pretty easy. The tricky part of this problem is being able to look through an array and being able to understand what part of the array you need to look in order for you to have the the hourglasses all of the hourglasses so given that this is the pattern of the hourglasses i just need to look from the middle element of my hourglasses that means i'm going to look from year to year after moving looking from year to year until i'm looping from year to year and for each of the element it kind of be the center of the hourglass of the hourglasses the hourglass and i just need to compute the sum of the element just using like logic operation is that clear so first thing loop into all of the hourglasses from year till year and for each of the element compute the the sum of the element in the the sum of the value of the hourglass so and uh, for us to make sure that we have something working we are we are we are searching for the sum right and we have this constraint this constraint is saying that mm, what is the constraint this constraint is saying that each of the element of the array are going to be from minus nine to to nine so the less possible value we can have is having minus nine to each of the element which is actually a total of 60, 63. So we are going to have int max, int result will take minus 63. I don't even know if it's possible, okay? Okay, so um, given this now, this is what we are going to return. Now we just need to look. So we don't need to look for int. I will say I'm moving from row row starting at position one row is less or equal to five no four because we know the 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 vector will always be six times six and we are looping from element one to four one two three four right row plus plus and for each of the row i'm moving now to the colon so int in colon starting at position one colon less or equal to four colon plus plus so now for each of these elements um i would say in the middle of the hourglass of the hourglass sorry now that i'm in the middle of the hourglass i just need to compute the sum of the element of the hourglass so you just be like i would say int I know it's an int because it will not it will not be more than 63 int i'll say sum would take r of i row and c so i have seven element plus you see with me so i have we will go together i took this one right so i'm starting with the one up the one up are actually minus one okay what is minus one the row so row minus one that is the one directly on top now after this i'm taking the one directly on top and to the left so it's minus one minus one after this i'm taking the one directly on top and to the right which is minus one and the colon plus one so I took all of these four elements. So I'm continuing. I can just like, yeah, I just continue like this. 
Now I'm taking the one down. The one down actually roll plus one. So this is row plus one. This is this one. This one down here. And um, what is this happening? So I'll just cut it here to be for it to be clear. I'll cut it here. You see, I'll cut it here. And I'll say S plus equal to. So it is more clear. This was the first one and these are the three elements at the top so now i just need to have the three element at the bottom so the three element at the bottom row plus one instead you have the row plus one on the c which is the one down you have the row plus one and c minus one which is the one here we have the row plus one and c plus one which is the one here so this is actually the sum once you are done with the sum you just need to compare this sum with the result and keep the maximum so the an easy way of doing that is just say result would take max of result and s so by doing so if the if s is actually greater than the result s is going to erase the result and at the end this result will have like the maximum sum possible that you can have for each of the outclass sys okay let's just want to see what it gives Congratulations, everything has been let us submit. Yeah, everything is going. So this is my approach of solving this. I hope you do enjoy it. Feel free to give me any feedback. I'll be really happy to interact with you regarding this. This was not a tough problem, but it was interesting in the sense of we had the opportunity to look through array of array. We had the opportunity to compute element of a subset of an array which is actually really interesting because it will help you to solve more difficult problems just using this approach so see you tomorrow with a new video i will be there we are trying to be consistent and uh, let us see if we can post at least one video for the rest of this year see you